all right then so now what we have to do is to we have to set up the prisma so in order to do that so let's get back over here and i'm gonna kill the server so clear it and here i'm just going to say npm install prisma and at prisma slash client these are the packages that we need to install okay so please check the name so first you need to install the prisma and at prisma slash client so make sure there is no spelling mistakes or anything else okay so hit the enter so that is going to install the packages okay so it's taking some time all right so now here we go so it is installed successfully so now what we need to do is so let's open up the um mongodb so let's set up the mongodb first okay so click the google over here okay so uh i'm gonna use my same account over here so i'm gonna help you all to figure it out what are the things that you need to manage and everything so for the first time when you're doing it it will ask you to uh, set up your give some per information regarding how you are going to use this mongodb and all those things you have to fill those forms and everything and in this case well, and once you're done successfully like once you created these clusters and everything so you can um, uh, in this case what I can do is maybe I can show you that thing just by logout in this case if I use any different account other than that choose now let me choose this account now okay I think I already used in this Oh, no. okay so here we go so you can see it's asking me to create a cluster this is how but for you guys it will be directly asking you something like this so how you want to create your clusters and all those things you can choose your free clusters because i'm going to use the free version only i don't want to use any serverless or any other paid versions so you can choose aws or google cloud microsoft Azure, whatever that you wish to use choose your nearest location as well as and then you can create the deployment okay so and then once you finish that, once you finish creating the clusters and all those things, you have to enable your database access. You need to create yourself a new user. You can create yourself a password authentications and all those things. Okay. So uh, you can give the username as an admin or you can enter the password as well as also admin. And once you're done with that, you need to enable the network access also. You need to add your current IP address over here. Or you can see, you can choose this option, add current IP address or allow access from anywhere. But in my personal opinion, enable the both for the time being and you should wait for the status needs to be active okay that status need to be active unless or until it is not active you will not be able to access your mongodb so in this case i'm going to get back to my another account get back over here choose my account original account okay so here if you check it out in the network access i do have all my ip addresses as active and in the database access i do have only one user as an admin and i do have the password for that too and it is access active over here you can see you should get that status of the network access as the active and let me get back to the databases over here and you should be able to see i do have the uh, the cluster which is active and if I get back inside the browse collections I can able to access the MongoDB databases and if you wish to once have all these setups and everything is being configured perfectly you should be able to click this connect option and you should be able to see this option over here see a uh, this is your connection string this is your connection string or if you click this few or this one mm, this is looking So this is the user that we are trying to connect okay select the database user which you are trying to connect so this is the user and this is the connection string which i'm trying to connect okay so all i have to do is to copy this connection string that's it i don't have to i think mongodb is updated a little bit over here so all i have to do is to click this and i can able to copy this connection string just by clicking over here now let's get back to our uh, visual studio code here what i need to do is i just need to say npx um prisma in it so and now you, you should be able to see uh npx prisma it's initialized successfully just by seeing this prisma folder over here inside that you should be able to see the schema.prisma 
and of course we do have the environment variable in that we do have this postgres sql connection string in this case we just need to update our mongodb connection string copy this and then and let me enable the word wrap view word wrap all right so here we go and paste it okay instead of this password remove this angular bracket including that angular brackets remove that thing okay you should remove this and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this and i'm going to type my password over here in this case which is admin itself and right after here this slash dot net right after there what you need to do is you need to type your database name what type of database that you're going to use in this case exactly right after the slash and the question mark between in between them in this case i'm just going to say youtube job portal in which case we don't have this uh, database in the mongodb but this will create this database okay so type that and save these changes okay then let's get back to the prisma schema.prisma over here right over here so you can see my uh, the ui which is looking completely different in, in in which cases if you're not seeing something kind of like this you should install the prisma extension search for prisma and you should install the prisma extension which is the very first link so that helps you to the highlight your codes and everything all right so uh, over here now what we need to do is the provider of course this is going to provide the mongodb so if you simply press control these are the different databases that you can use in this case we're going to use this mongodb and database url which is mapped from the environment variable okay and the relation mode you should enable the relation mode which is going to be the prisma relation mode is going to be the prisma so what is the first thing that we are trying to do we are trying to create the um, the schema for the job so i'm going to use the model instance provided by the prisma job that's the schema name that we are trying to do so first we need to map our id with our mongodb id because that will automatically generated by the uh, mongodb itself so id which is going to be a string and at id should be generated by default itself and we are going to use the auto function provided by the mongodb and we need to map that field because uh, mongodb has underscore id as the object id so i need to map it to underscore id which is generated by mongodb and that is going to be the object id so at db dot object id this is how you need to generate the id uniquely and map it to the mongodb id okay then user id that is going to be the string okay and then we need the title and that is also going to be the string okay these are the compulsory field and next we are going to create the description description and that is going to be string and it's an optional field and i need to get the short description that is also going to be a string and that is going to be an optional and I need to get the image. So I'm going to keep it as an image URL and that is going to be a string and that is also an optional and whether it is published or not published. That is the status is published and that is going to be the Boolean and that is not an optional field. OK, and I need to set the default value. So the default value, of course, it's going to be the false. OK, then what else we need uh, later we can add the category and company ids and everything then we'll, we need to bring the tags tags that is going to be the string array and attachments okay little bit sorry about the attachments later and how many users saved saved users which is going to be the string of array then uh, shift timing shift timing that is going to be the string it's an optional field hourly rate for per hour how much they are paying string that is also optional years of experience that is also going to be string question mark and what is the work mode work mode that is also going to be a string question mark and created it when this field being created which is going to be the daytime field and it should automatically have the current timestamp so we are using the now function copy and duplicate it instead of created at i'm going to say updated at save these changes this is going to be the model which we are trying to create for the job right so since i generated this next what i need to do is i need to uh, generate it for the prisma client so npx prisma generate 
so this command helps you to access these objects in your local client which means inside the next.js so npx prisma generate so whenever you're making some changes in the prisma schema you should generate it first then you should push it to the database so npx prisma generate and now you should see that is the client file being updated then now npx prisma db push okay now we are trying to push this into the database so hit enter so that is going to use this variable and it's going to access mongodb database okay so we are getting an issue authentication failed um why is that happening so in the environment variable admin admin okay so let me click the browse collection let me try to create this exact database over here maybe because of that let's create the database database name let me keep the collection name as a sample for the time being okay now we do have that database over here youtube job portal and now let me try to npx prisma db push okay still we are not getting database those mongodb database youtube job portal uh, bad authentication we are getting a bad authentication why is that mm. I think because of my database access because I try to kept it secret I think so okay I thought I forget I changed my password recently that's the reason so my password is not admin this is my password so now if I create this and if I push this that should be yep there we go so applying the following changes collection job your database index are now is in the sync of the prisma done okay so don't worry you don't need to create the databases in the mongodb collection itself reason is it's because of the bad authentication because i changed the password recently and i forgot to mention it okay so you should be able to see the youtube job portal and inside that we should have this job collection new collection which we created through the prisma in which cases which is working perfectly which means the prisma is successfully configured and it's working perfectly as it's supposed to be so now we should able to access this job schema wherever we needed it okay <clears throat> and that is what we are going to do now so because uh, because when you are submitting the form the place where over here so this is the place where you are getting all your values and everything so that's the place what we need to do is we need to call we need to create an api in order to save this form details and everything and that's what we are going to do next